Hi there, Craig Hocknell here. I'm in a bunker and we're talking about making sure that not only do we get out, but we control our distances a little bit easier. Man, bunkers can just wreak havoc on most people's games. And it's, I think, probably has more to do with the, the texture and the depth and the type of sand that you're in than anything. So when you come into the bunker for the first time, you really have to read the scenario. It, it, it's, you know, against the rules for you to like reach in, grab the sand with your hands and even kind of do this. But as you walk in, you should be able to tell that you that this particular sand is light and fluffy. So make sure if you're going to a new location, this is Florida kind of beach sand. It's a little bit more soft and fluffy. Uh, Arizona sand tends to be a little bit harder and crunchier. Um, if they've imported sand in, ask the superintendent or the head pro, like, hey, what kind of sand do you have at your course? Is it light and fluffy? Were the bunkers recently renovated? Has a bunch of sand been added or is it a little bit more bare? All these little tips and tricks are important because how you hit the shot really gets set up in the beginning by understanding the surface. So if I'm in here in the sand and I start digging my feet, I'm gonna very quickly realize here that that dark sand that you can maybe see, I'll kind of kick this out of the way, this dark spot right here is wet sand, okay? So what that tells me is that there's about a two inch amount of dry fluffy sand and then underneath it is compact wet sand, probably because we had a lot of rain here recently. Um, so that's good, that's good to know. That means I can take a pretty aggressive strike on the sand and I'm not gonna keep digging, digging, digging. It's not six inches of soft powdery sand, which you can get in some cases. In this case, maybe we have two, three inches, which is perfect, right? So now I've dug my feet, and by the way, that is perfectly okay within the rules for you to dig your feet because you're allowed to kind of anchor your feet into the sand. While you're digging and anchoring your feet into the sand, it's going to reveal to you some things, right? So in this case, it revealed to me, oh, wow, there's a wet spot underneath the, the soft, fluffy sand. So now that I get in here and I kind of feel that, this kind of tells me exactly how much of a swing I can use. So here's a, just a general rule of thumb for you. The more V-like up and down your technique, the more vertical into the sand and vertical out you're gonna get. The loft of the club will hit that sand down and up and you're gonna have a much shorter distance that the ball's gonna travel. If I chop down like a V, that ball is going to kind of go up and land soft, okay? So if you're trying to make it go out a little bit further, even using the same sand wedge, you're going to want to use more of a U shape, right? So a wider arc. So it's more shallow. If you come in and you have a more longer, wider arc, that ball will travel out a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is hit two shots for you, one short and one long. Here's the short one. Dig my feet, lower my hands, pick that club straight up, hit straight down, I cut underneath, popped it straight up in the air. When it landed on the green, I've got a little bit of a down slope. It didn't release too far for me, okay? Now this one right here, I'm gonna make this go a little bit further. So instead of picking it up and hitting down, I'm gonna have a wider swing. So wider takeaway, wider follow through. And by the way, if you wanna make it go further, don't dig your feet in as much into the sand. If you want to make it go short, dig your feet in a lot. So on this next shot, I won't dig my feet in as much. I'll actually play the face a little bit more square. I won't open it as much. And then I'll have more of that longer U-shaped swing. Right there. Okay, so that traveled out a little bit further. It still ended up going about the same distance on the green but the carry distance was what was different. If you want that carry distance to be closer to you, go more straight up and down. If you want that carry distance to be further out, go U-shape, okay? The amount of sand and how close you get to the ball will ultimately dictate the backspin. In this case, my U-shape shot actually had more spin because when it traveled further, it stopped faster than the V-shape. But that's really, 
just about how much sand do you get between the club face and the ball. Uh, that's an entirely different lesson, but if you're trying to just work on your carry distances, barely get it out to maybe a 30-yard shot, work on that V versus the U.